Hey guys, welcome to Mars or Bust. I'm Spaceman Dave, and today SpaceX had a little incident with a parachute drop test. Stay tuned, don't go away, I'll be right back with the details. Please hit like and subscribe. It lets myself and YouTube know you're enjoying these videos. This is going to be just a quick update on an incident that just happened. Today SpaceX had a little issue with a parachute test article. Actually what it was, was a parachute drop test. The way these parachute drop tests are done is they take them up in a helicopter to a certain altitude. And when everything is stable and ready and they're at the correct altitude, they release the test vehicle to test the parachutes. Apparently today what happened is in the process of taking it up to the correct altitude, the test vehicle became unstable underneath the helicopter. This can happen for different reasons. It can be secured improperly, or possibly a strap may have broke, or there could have been an excess of wind, which sounds most likely. What happened is the helicopter crew, for safety reasons, released it before it got to the desired altitude. Apparently, the parachute deployment sequence did not initiate and the parachute didn't open on the way down. As a result, the test vehicle was lost. This was not a crew dragon, it was just a test vehicle. The helicopter and crew were safe, nobody got hurt in this incident. While the test vehicle was a complete loss, this won't be considered a failure for the parachute system for SpaceX. NASA and SpaceX are working together to determine when they can do another retest. This shouldn't cause any delays for the Crew Dragon second demonstration mission. This is what a successful test is supposed to look like. This here is the mob. These are my patrons. They're some amazing people. You guys are what helps me keep this thing going week after week. I have no words to describe how happy I am you're part of the mob. Thank you so much, guys. And you too can join the mob for as little as $1 a month. Check it out in the description.